guys, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you guys so much for following me on my shinobi journey. Second, as a reminder that even though I've been an anime fan for a very long time, I have never watched Naruto. However, because one of my bestest friends in the whole world just loves, loves, loves Naruto, because it's been out for a very long time, and because of the internet, there are just some things about Naruto that I already know. This is mostly like character names and maybe what they look like, no real major plot points. However, it has also come to my attention that I may know more than I think I know, but I don't know what these things are until they come up in the show. So, I apologize in advance if that bothers anybody, but we're just going to keep watching Naruto and enjoying it to the fullest. On to the recap. I'm realizing now that I told myself that I was going to bring my tissues and I still left them outside. I'm going to be fine. It's going to be fine. This is what sleeves are for. Anyway, so the last episode, there was a lot of things happening that I'm kind of concerned about, and I'm a little worried because I really, really don't want the Hokage to die, but it's looking that he might die, and I just don't want it to happen. And then, you know, there's like these fights between Sasuke and Gata, and then there's that fight between Shino and Kankuro, and I realize now that Shikamaru and Asuma are still somewhere in the forest, and meanwhile, Naruto, the dog who I don't know if we ever got his name, and Sakura are on their way to Sasuke to bring him back. Meanwhile, Kakashi and Guy are still in the stadium, and the Hokage is fighting Orochimaru, also in the stadium. <sighs> I'm not sure what this episode is going to entail. I can't even hope that we will focus on one particular fight over the other because the last episode was so many snippets of everybody's fights. I just don't know where my attention should be. So we're just going to get into it and hope for the best. Are you shocked okay. by my true form? Come out, come out, Sasuke Uchiha. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the more shocking, maybe not even shocking, the more jarring thing is his voice over his appearance. But maybe it's because they've been building up to this for a while. I also still want to know if he's supposed to be Havzies or not. So there you are. Like foaming at the mouth. <laughs> okay, substitution. Guess I can. Should have known. Also, don't give away your position, dude. Feels nothing. Oh, he's just eating them. Well, sucking them into his body, but like eating them. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Do they always have to say his full name? <laughs> Is this one of those conflicting moments that he's having? <laughs> Is he lonely? It's him. So he's famous in his village. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Here. It's that Gara. He's really creepy. He's just a kid. He didn't. He's, he hasn't gotten to the creepy part yet. 
Or maybe he's already built a reputation. Oh! He can't control it. Please. I don't want to be alone anymore. Maybe he was already crazy at that point. Maybe I spoke too soon. Stop it, please! <laughs> no, Gara, you can't do this. Who is that? Is her the only friend? Only person he respected? Is there something there? There's probably something there. You know, I also realized just now that he doesn't have that tattoo on his forehead. Wonder when that happened. I have to give props to the voice actor though. This is creepy. Very monster-esque. Karate chop on a much larger scale. Also, don't appreciate this deforestation. If this comes down to physical strength, forget it. Yes, that's it. You fear me, don't you, Uchiha? You live in fear every day I'm alive. The only thing I could focus on is his drooling. You are my prey. Hold on. Why me? Why are you so fixated on me? Oh, there's more to this. True loneliness. You understand that it is the most painful form of suffering that there is in the world. As I said before, we have the same eyes. So he wants to kill him because he's like him? Eyes that seek revenge against those who made you so lonely. Eyes that burn to see them all dead. Uh, what? You know, at first I thought that was Gata's, but now I realize that was Sasuke's. When we finally fight, it won't be to advance to the next stage, but solely for survival. One seeking to destroy the other. He wants to fight to the death? In the depths of your soul, it's what you want too. Existence is stronger. Yours, or the one facing you with murder in his eyes. I kind of feel bad for Kakashi. He seems he feels like a third will in this conversation. As all your hatred and sense of purpose dwindle down to this abject fear, is this? His teeth are creeping me out too. Come out and fight me. Show me that I'm wrong. Prove that your existence is stronger than mine. My only question here is that he wants to fight to the death. But I was almost... I know Sasuke doesn't die. But I was almost certain that Gata lives too. So this is not going to end that way at the very least. For what reason? No. I know the reason. He had to leave one alive. Spare himself the guilt of having exterminated an entire clan. I almost feel like that's not the reason why, though. Itachi chose me to be the avenger of the clan. He chose me to be the one to kill him! I have so many questions about that statement. Good! Now we're gonna have some fun! Sasuke Uchiha! With one blow, I'll finish this. Also, I feel so bad. I totally forgot Tamati was there. Ah. And we're back to this. <laughs> Can't we just avoid this for like three more episodes? <laughs> oh, God. Please hold on. And die, you withered old buzzard. Put yourself out of your misery. 
I told you before. We will both die here. <laughs> also, Monkey King, please pull the blade out. I actually don't know if that would help because sometimes that makes it worse. No, I will not let go until I pulled your wretched soul from your body. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. <sighs> technically his body looks like it worked why do i feel like that's not the case what a thrill it will be to crush such an opponent capable of wounding me so badly such a victory will make me feel what it is to be truly alive i mean they do say that pain lets you know you're alive yeah. there's no so much more! What the? Uh, what? Uh, let's just assume this is a tail. Can't use my story. Fire style! Fireball jutsu! Sure. Yeah, finished! Nothing. That's gotta hurt. My only theory at this point is that Naruto and Sakura are gonna show up. So, looks like you're good for two bursts. That's about your limit. So he used his only two already. At this stage of your chakra development, you've only got two shots of Chidori in you per day. And you weren't using your Sharingan, which you would be in an actual battle. Using them simultaneously burns up a lot of chakra. And fast. Hmm. If you try to force a jutsu, not only will it not work, but the attempt can drain your chakra to absolute zero. Worst case scenario, you die. Sounds about accurate for this show. Is that it? That was the best demonstration you could make of the value of your existence. That's just pathetic, truly. Maybe Kakashi sent them after him knowing that he would try to use more than two. Your hate is weaker than mine. Far weaker. Shut up. You know what that means, don't you? Just shut up! I, I don't actually. You are weaker than I am. Well, to be fair, you've got monster bits growing out. The reason he chose me to be the one to track him down and kill him. I am an Avenger! <laughs> I don't know why that way you said that makes me giggle, but don't do it. What? Oh no. No! Sasuke, I'm very disappointed in you right now. I thought it couldn't be released unless he gave in. Did he give in literally already? I knew it. Oh, now he's upset, like actually upset, because they got in the way of his prey or whatever. That's going to be the end, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so on the bright side, we did focus on one of the battles, even though we got a snippet of what's happening with the Hokage and Orochimaru 
but like again, we could just if if he's gonna die, I don't I want to push it off as long as possible. I do not want this. Um, but with the battle between Sasuke and Gata, there are I I don't know. I have so many questions and I can't even remember all of my commentary at this point. I'll go back and edit and be like, Cassie, that was stupid. Why'd you say that? On the Gata and Sasuke battle front, I am still a little confused by what's going on with Gata. He sprouted another limb. Is this him making a more of a transition, which makes me feel like he's not supposed to be halfsies. He's supposed to be like one or the other. Plus, Tamati said that he's only got his arm transformed, which again makes me believe that he's not supposed to be halfsies. With Sasuke using more, well, Kakashi said it wouldn't work, but it did work, but then did, I guess I'm just confused on the one hand because his curse mark was supposed to be sealed unless he quote unquote gave into it. At least that's what I remember Kakashi saying. I could be very wrong, but my thought process is, did he already give in and now he can't move? Is this gonna, is this one of those things where it's gonna go up and down where like if he gives in a little bit, it'll flare up and then go back down like it did in the past or is it like he gives into it once and that's it? I have questions about this. In the back of my mind, I'm like, don't do it. I know he would, uh, I know he was gonna do it anyway. But then like, I'm also like really glad that my random theory worked out. Cause at this point I was like, I just feel like Naruto and Sasuke, or I just feel like Naruto and Sakura are gonna show up, and I'm really glad I was right. And it's funny because Naruto kicked him and he has that look, he's like, don't touch my best friend, and God is like, don't you get in my way. And so the next episode is gonna be like really, really interesting. But backtracking a little bit to the Gata situation from when he was a kid, he says that his purpose in life is to kill and to have prey and whatever. But I'm curious if this actually all, like, came to be because he's actually just lonely and wants friends and he could never have friends because of what he is on the inside. On the bright side, the Hokage did not die in this episode. So we can be happy with that. Any hoots, thank you guys so much for watching and following me on this Shinobi journey. I super, super appreciate it. And until next time, bye!